welcome to the Borealis experience. Today I'm especially happy <laughs> to have you here. It's been a very, very tough day and um, I was not gonna record anything. You can maybe hear, I still have a snotty nose. Um, but I thought, no, I show up for you every day and that means that I'm gonna ro be raw I'm going to be honest and I'm not going to put on a show because uh, energetically I wouldn't even make it. <laughs> If it was a once a week podcast, you would get the best version of me every week, but you get the daily Aurora and Aurora goes through very deep downs and very high highs. So, yeah, it's all good. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's awesome. Um, it is just problems with my phone, my main device for promoting and recording and, yeah, getting my work here done. That is causing me problems right now. And it was all about blaming and shaming from my phone provider and my... Um, cell service cellular provider however you call it and now they told me there's a huge amount of money involved to get things back into order and uh, they could have told me six days ago so huge frustration <laughs> so all this to say I'm not perfect I'm not living the perfect life I run through uh, shitty situations as well and Sometimes I just laugh because I think, oh, I should live what I preach. I should really listen to my podcast today and do a meditation because it would do me so well. But recording really helps me to center myself and to feel good again. And I want to show up for you no matter what. <laughs> yes. All right. So let's talk about feeling stuck feeling stuck was what we talked about yesterday uh, we all feel stuck during COVID confinement and maybe get frustrated maybe get depressed and we have to find ways to be more resilient because this might have not been the last time we run into a virus crisis so we have to unlock our creativity we have to Be there for other people without feeling drained afterwards. We have to find ways to be good with certain things being cut out of our lives. So I think if we run into problems like I did in the last couple of days, we really have to make it a disciplined practice to be grateful for what we have. I kept reminding myself of my good health of my family of my friends and of my animals that I have around here and that helps you to go through and and to push through when you really want to throw the towel in and you want to give up and quit um, you have to know that you shouldn't quit and you can't quit because we need you out there and you need yourself to be strong it is okay to feel desperate and frustrated and cry and everything that's not the point but you have to show up as soon as possible again because again we need you out there we will always get tested no matter what we do out there we will get tested especially if we want to challenge ourselves with a new project with a new hobby with a new partner There's always going to be tests. Of course, if you stay at home on your couch and binge watch Netflix, there's going to be lesser of a chance to be tested. But chances are, if you listen to my podcast, you are out there and you want to be out there. You want to be your best version. So once you start healing, once you start unstucking, unfucking yourself, you will run into tests You can call it God is testing you or the universe is testing you. Mother Nature is testing you. 
if you really want to be on that new path, if you're in it for the long haul, if you're in it 120%. Trust me, when I emigrated to Canada, it was exactly the same thing. Every time I ran into an obstacle, every time I knew I had to start the process all over again, I knew it was testing me and just seeing if I wanted to immigrate to Canada 120%. So if we know that, I think we can look at our obstacles, at our problems from a little bit more of a distance and kind of boil them smaller and really know that if we just stick to it, if we don't feel too discouraged, if we're just in there for 51% instead of 49, then we can do it. We can really do it. You will be tested. You will be tested from your coworkers. You will be tested from your parents. You will be tested, I think you say by and not from, by the way. <laughs> you will be tested by your friends. You will be tested by yourself, your resilience, once you start something new and it is okay to feel like a failure. It is okay to compare yourself and feel really shitty for a moment because other out there, others out there might have more experience and a broader skill set. But you can learn those skills. You can learn to be your version, your best version, and just shine out there just like the others. Don't feel discouraged and know that you will be tested. Your relationships will be tested. Your friendships will be tested. When you came out of an abusive relationship, you will encounter people who will trigger you again and you have to count until 10 then and know, is it my trigger reacting now or is it my true self, myself that wants to be my best version, myself that is acting and living from the heart? You will have to make these decisions and it's okay to take your time. You have to take that time in order to know what is real and what is just past pain creeping up on you again. If you are in a romantic relationship and you have trust issues, you will be tested. If you have abandonment issues, you will be tested. And you really have to be careful to distinguish, is that person hurting me intentionally or is it my demons inside of me that are trying to protect me? Is it my demons inside of me that are creating problems just to have that reality that I'm expecting because I'm still not 100% healed? And in meditating and spending that 10-15 10-15 minutes um, of meditation or reflection med- with me each day or a couple times a week, you will notice what's going on inside of yourself and you will be out there as a more authentic person. You will be out there living from the heart and be okay with yourself, embrace yourself and totally accept all your scars. So be okay being tested. Don't feel like life is unfair and everything is bad and you're not meant to be on that path. I think you're meant to be on that path. You just need to stick to your guns and stick to it and take a break, but never walk backwards. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Um, I'm shivering a little bit (laughs) because I'm sitting outside. I needed the fresh air and I'm still very upset about my couple days, my precious hours that I wasted on my cell phone trying to fix it. And yeah, that's it. I'm happy that I can be out here serving you. I'm happy that you're listening to me and I hope you receive my message well that You will feel stuck at times. And when you unstuck yourself, you will maybe try a new path. 
and it will feel awesome and right most of the time. But on those days, it's not going to feel good and it's going to feel hard. I just don't want you to give up. All right. Until tomorrow again, Aurora, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.